Hey folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fastlane Car, and this is the 2017 Toyota 86. Yes, they've continued it on from Scion, and I gotta tell you, it's an interesting car to drive, and coming up next, you're gonna learn all about it, and you're gonna get some driving impressions. So before it was previously called the Scion FRS, uh -huh. but now that's transitioned into Toyota, we have calling it Toyota 86. And it's not just a, na a name or a badge change, we actually made significant changes for 2017. So let's start off with the front. The front, we actually now incorporate all LED lightings, everything from your daytime running lights to your regular lights um, in, within those projector beams. Um, we added nice 86 logos on the headlight. Um, the front center intake has been redesigned for a more aggressive look. Um, and that's the same for the rear as well. The rear, all the lights is all LED. And we actually re uh, revised the rear diffuser to actually uh, manage the lift of the vehicle when driving through hard corners. And then the side profile, we have new um, fender mounted vents. Um, it actually helps with the body roll and the controllability of the vehicle. And then the wheels are brand new, 17 inch alloy. We call them twisted spokes. And they're really sporty and aggressive looking. Here we have under the hood of a manual transmission, 2017-86. So first of all, visually, immediately, you see that the intake manifold is red. That's been changed as, as all new for 2017. So red stands for manual transmission and the traditional black remains on the automatic. So for the manual transmission specifically, we made a couple of enhancements to it. And um, horsepower has been increased to 205 now from 200, and torque also increased from to 156 from 151. And the torque band now stays on longer uh, for, deli for delivery as well as um, improve performance. We also made um, a variety of engine improvements. We reduced friction. We also uh, achieved less pumping loss with a with fuel pump. So we made various changes for the manual transmission to give a better driver's car. Nice, okay. I bet you're wondering, why is he driving the automatic with the paddle shifters? All he talks about is the manual. And you're right, last few, DRZ is FT86, whatever. Whatever version I've had of this, I've had mostly manual transmission ones. This is special. It's got the paddle shifters. It's an automatic, obviously. But it has the TRD exhaust, which sounds... <laughs> sounds glorious. It's a regular automatic transmission. It's not a dual clutch or anything like that, but it certainly reacts quickly. Does exactly what I want it to do, lifts the throttle, does everything that it should do in order to maintain the fastest possible driving that you can maintain. Nice. Wait. Nice. And it doesn't mind going up to 7,500 RPM. No problem. Talking about suspension, let's talk about that. Um, these these mount front rough backers right here, they're now thicker than previous years. And also, um, we retune the suspension. The front now is stiffer, the back now is a little softer, so you get a sharper turn in, as well as more planted and more neutral feeling as you go through the corners. Um, we also did a lot of rigidity to the vehicle, improvement to rigidity, like the transmission tunnel has been uh, redesigned as well as new um, materials. And we also strained the rear shock attachment point with um, new reinforcement plates. So overall, the vehicle is now more planted, more mature driving, and also more fun. Is it the same rubber as before? Yes, it is. You either get your all season or, or, or um, the summer tires, depending on the geographic location you're at. And they're the same cost at no cost. <laughs> now, the automatic is the same carryover from last year, correct? Yep. So for the um, powertrain and drive train is the same, um, but the suspension has been tweaked, just like the manual. So the manual got the more significant um, power and drivetrain increase, but the suspension is the same for both vehicles. Do you know what the sales take is between the automatic and manual? I know that it's it's pretty high. Yeah, so it's going to be around um, 
60 to and 40 now. Really, and then 60 is going towards the manual? And automatic. Autom ah, okay, so automatic yep. outselling. Okay. Yeah. But as it is, on a hill like this, check this out. Not bad. And it goes, and it goes, and it still goes, and it still goes. So, <laughs> it stopped me from continuing. Because I went past 7,500 RPM. But that's not bad. It lets you sit in that gear all day long, as long as you're not going to damage the engine, either by going too fast or too slow. Balance is superb. This car is perfectly balanced. Now, you, that's not always a good thing, but in this case, it truly is. It just lets you hold that gear all day long, and it's so smooth. You could feel the weight underneath you as opposed to being in front of you. Ugh. The feedback is fantastic. Really, there are very few cars that feel this good in this element. This is this vehicle's natural element. Canyon carving is exactly what this was built for. I know some guys are like, oh, drifting, dude. You know what? If it was a full, proper drifting car, it would have more power. Sorry. But flying through a canyon, oh, this thing's brilliant. car. Well done, Toyota. Welcome, Toyota 86. <laughs> Give it more power, please. It deserves it. This car has so much potential. You have to agree with me. It's a great driving car. And down here, near sea level, or at least closer than where we are, ah, great car. This is the road that car deserves. Thanks again. This is Nathan Adlin. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, and real-world views. Time for some driving. See ya.